Great to great to great to Hi guys, how are you today? You're good? Okay, so let's have our English. So for our English, first, let's have the spelling words. So this is our first spelling words this quarter, right? So we have here, the first word is Xbox. Can you please say it? Very good. Xbox, X. This is how you are going to spell the word Xbox. X B O X. Xbox. Can you do it? Go. Very good. Okay, so the meaning of Xbox is. The meaning of Xbox is a video gaming brand created and owned by Microsoft. All right? So, next word we have here, pastime. Can you please say it? Very good. So, this is how you are going to spell the word pastime. Pastime. P-A-S-T-I-M-E. Pastime. Can you do it? Ready? Go. Very good. And the meaning of pastime is an activity that someone does for enjoyment all right so now for our third word it is indigenous can you please say it very good so this is how you are going to spell the word indigenous i n d i g e n o u s indigenous can you please do it say spell the word one two Ready, go. Very good. So the meaning of indigenous is natural. Next for our fourth word, it is challenging. Can you please say it? Very good. So this is how you are going to spell the word challenging. Challenging. C-H-A-L-L-E-N-G. I-N-G, challenging. Can you please do it? Ready? Go. Correct. A nice one. So the meaning of challenging is testing one's skill. Okay, for our fifth word, spacious. Can you please say it? Very good. So this is how you are going to spell the word Spacious. Read the word first. Spacious. S-P-A-C-I-O-U-S. Spacious. Okay, can you please do it? Ready and go. Correct. Nice one. Now, the meaning of spacious is large space. Alright? So, let's read again our five spelling words. Xbox, pastime, indigenous, challenging, spacious. Okay? So now, so these words, you can find this in our story today. So the title of our story is Agawan, Va Agawan Base versus Video Games. So the question first is, how are video games of today different from the filipino native games played by young children before so how are they different so we are going to find out as we read this story all right so the, again the title of the story is agawan base versus video games okay so which one is good which one is better which one is nice to play okay so, it was Christmas vacation once again. The Ocampo children stayed in their grandparents' house in Labrador, Pangasinan. So, it's Christmas vacation and the Ocampo children, where do they stay? In their grandparents' house, where? In Labrador, Pangasinan. Okay? So, these are the kids, the Ocampo kids or the Ocampo children and the gl let's r continue we are glad you will spend your Christmas vacation here 
Lola Lalit said. So this is the grandma. Her name is Lola Lalit and she is, they are glad that the Ocampo children will stay in their house for Christmas vacation. We have already missed our storytelling time. Joaquin replied. So Joaquin missed the storytelling because in when he when they are staying in their grandma's house, their grandparents' house, they have a storytelling time. And Joaquin missed it. Okay, the storytelling. So now let's continue. Next page. Not long after, their cousin Don Don came with friends. Okay, so what's the name of their cousin? Very good. It is Don Don. So come, Joaquin, Phoebe, Bea, and Enzo. Let us play Agawan Bays. So Don Don called the Ocampo children. Their names are Joaquin, Phoebe, Bea, and Enzo. So Don Don and his friends in invite them to play what game? Agawan Bays. Okay. So let's proceed. What is Agawan Bays, Kuya Don Don? Joaquin asked. So because they don't know what is Agawan Bays. And then Phoebe said, We do not know how to play it. Sabi ni Phoebe. And then Don Don, Kuya Don Don, their cousin, says, Ah, uh, do not worry, my friends and my friends, I will show you how to play it. Don Don replied. So before you play, let us have Marian the first. Okay? So they're gonna have some snacks first. I prepared your favorite suman and puto. Okay, the suman and puto with fresh buku juice. I like it. So Lola Lalit said excitedly. So before they play, they're gonna eat first suman, puto, and fresh buku juice. So everybody went to the terrace to have the snacks. I heard that you do not know how to play Agawan Bass. Is that true? Lolo Benny asked their grandfather. The name is Lolo Benny. Yes, Lolo. It is the first time that we heard such kind of a game. Enzo answered. Say they don't know the Ocampo children. They don't know the Agawan Bass. So let's continue. What we know, Bea is the one talking, okay? What we know are the games we play in computer, in the computer and PlayStation. So, they don't know the Agawan base, but the only thing they know is the computer games and the games in the PlayStation and in the computer. So, that should not be. You should also know how to play different Filipino games like Agawan Base. Lola Lalit said. So, dapat daw ay alam nyo din yung some of the Filipino games like Agawan Base. Do you know that long time ago, when there were no electricity, te te televisions or TV, playstations and Xboxes, there were the great there were the great games of Filipinos. So like, what are the games? Piko, Sipa, Taguan, Luxong Baka, and many more. These games build friendship, strengthen family relationships, and create enjoyment to every person okay so what are the games the filipino games we have the pico or the hopscotch okay sipa taguan hide and seek and then luksong baka and some other games like agawan base okay so these were the past time of our grandparents so this is the pico this is the sipa you can use your elbow, your this one, or you can use your foot. Okay, this one is the hide and seek, and this one is the luxong baka. Okay, now 
the Lolo Benny said, these were the past time of our grandparents. However, they were usually played outside the house. So these games, you cannot play it. Um, most of the time, you are playing it outside. And they needed what? A bigger space. Lolo Benny told the children. Not only that, the children before used only indigenous materials or the natural materials. They usually come up with new games without the need of anything but players themselves. Okay, so this one, they don't have any... Um, instrument or they do not need anything just the players okay also the hide and stick right okay with the ability of a person to think and act makes the games more challenging lola lalit explained all right next but time has changed what you play now are what computer games and playstations what I like about those games is that they do not need spacious areas, right? You are staying uh, inside. And that is why children are safe because these games are played inside a house, said Lola Lalit. You can also play with them alone, unlike most of our Filipino games, which are played by groups or teams. However, just like our Filipino games, they create excitement and enjoyment to the players. Okay, they are also challenging. The one that you played in your computer and PlayStation, right? So Lola Lalit said with a smile. By the way, have you finished eating? Don Don asked because Don Don is so excited to teach them how to play Agawan Base. Yes, we have. Dundon's cousins answered in chorus. So, what are we going to do here? Let us go outside and play Agawan Bays. Dundon exclaimed. Just don't forget to teach us how to play Agawan Bays. Phoebe requested. And then, take good care of your cousins, Dundon. Lolo Benny commanded. Yes, Lolo, we will not play for too long. Dundon replied let's go dundon said to his cousins yay the children yelled and the children went out the went out of the house together so that is the end of our story so do you know some filipino games okay so, if you know some Filipino games, if you have a friend, um, how would you encourage your friend or your, your friends or playmates to play Filipino games? And what Filipino game would you recommend? What, do you, what would you recommend to your playmates or friends and why you chose that? game okay so tomorrow you are going to share your answer what filipino game you like to recommend to your friends and playmates and why do you like that filipino game all right so now let's have our lesson the english subject and verb agreement okay for our english the topic is subject and verb agreement so, subject and verb agreement is the subject and the verb in a sentence must be in agreement, okay? They agree to each other. This is called subject-verb agreement. In a sentence, it is the subject, noun or pronoun, that determines the form of the verb that we are going to use subjects can be a noun or a pronoun so what are the nouns name of person place things animals events and the pronoun are what are he she i we right they okay it so these those are the 
pronoun. So the pro the noun and the pronoun or the subject must agree. And it determines the form of the verb we are going to use in the sentence. Okay, so this is the rule. If the subject is a singular or only one noun or pronoun, singular noun or pronoun, the present form of the verb is S with S or ES. Like this one, don don is only one. Don don is a noun. So don don is the subject. Okay? So don don show, the verb here is shows. Okay? Because don don is noun, uh, plu, singular, only one, the subject is with S. Okay, so Don Don shows his cousins how to play Agawan bass, right? So you are going to add S or ES if it is only one, singular. Now look at our next example. Lolo Benny, so Lolo Benny is our subject and explains is our verb. Okay, Lolo Benny explains others S. Why there's an S? Because Lolo Benny is singular. It's only one. Lolo Benny explains the importance of knowing how to play Filipino games. Alright? So again, if the verb... Yeah, no. If the subject is a singular noun, if it is only one, noun or pronoun, the verb is with S or Yes. All right. Okay. Next. But if the singular plo, if you use the pronoun I and you, if the the subject is I and you, the verb does not end in s or es. Okay. So di ba ang I and you is singular I I. Singular, you, singular. But this one, the rule, if you are going to use I and you, it does not end in S or ES. Okay? So look at this one. I watch the clouds go by. Look at the hour. This is the subject, I. And this is our verb, watch, without S and ES. Okay? It does not end in S or es next we have here you you keep your toys after playing with them okay you you're not supposed to use to add s or es see this is your subject and this is your verb okay again if you are using i and you your verb is without s or es okay now, let's proceed. If the subject is plural, okay, if it is many, plural, your verb does not end in S or ES. Look at this one. The children, children is our subject. And look at our verb. It does not end with S or ES, okay? The children spend their Christmas vacation with their grandparents. And we have another one, Lolo Benny and Lola Lalit. They are plural too, right? Dalawa si Lolo Benny. Our subject is plural. And look at our verb. It does not end with S or ES. Lolo Benny and Lola Lalit welcome their grandchildren from the city. Okay? Now, the pronouns each, each one either neither everybody anybody anyone nobody no one somebody someone and something are singular so they require what verb ends in s or es like everybody listens to the instructions on how to play games nobody ask a question so it it's going to be it's suppo the verb will the verb must end with S or ES. So, let us try. Cousins, is it singular? 
or plural and our verb is play so write tell me what is the correct um, verb here is it play or place cousins play or place ready think five four three two one so look cousins are plural so it is play only without s okay next parents okay send or sends with s or without s parents send or sends ready think five four three two one zero what is your answer correct it is send because parents are plural next enzo enzo like or likes ready think five four three two one time's up enzo is singular only one see enzo so your verb should end with s ah oh, like this likes next phoebe phoebe help or helps ready think five four three two one phoebe is singular only one so your verb will end with s very good don don and joan don don and joan share or shares what is the correct answer think five four three two one zero what is the answer correct it is share because don don and joan they are two it's many plural okay so again if it is singular with s or es if it is plural many without s or es if it is i and you without s or es okay so now please get your book open it on page 230 get your english book and open it on page 230 go okay so in the number one here the instruction is write the correct verb of the given subject number one is done for you so it's already answered Bea listens okay so Phoebe and Enzo is it play or plays ready think uh, think please write your answer okay so it's plural is it is it play or plays next number three lola lalit lola lalit is singular only one is it prepare or prepares please write your answer next joaquin joaquin is singular only one so is it help or helps next number five the boys boys are if with it, it means they are plural boys so is it win or wins please write your answer win or wins okay now let's proceed to our letter b it says here circle the correct verb of each sentence so number one lola lalit cook cooks merienda for the children it says here you are going to circle so lola lalit is only one singular so we are going to circle with s okay remember if it is singular only one the verb is with s or es if it is plural the verb is without s or es now let's go to number two look at our number two lolo benny teach teaches the children good values okay so lolo benny is only one singular what is your answer is it teach or teaches go circle your answer next number three the children children means many plural love 
loves their grandparents very much? Go. What is your answer? Circle it. Next, number four. They. They is plural, right? They. It means many. They want. Wants. To learn more from their grandparents. Circle your answer. And number five, the girls. It's plural. Ask or asks their Lola for some advice. Okay, if you are not yet done, pause the video. And once you are finished, you can play it again. Okay? Continue playing it. And now, for those who are done, let's have your assignment. Study for our quiz tomorrow and prepare your answer about the story. What is the Filipino game that you are going to recommend to your playmates and friends and why? And the spelling words, don't forget to copy it in your spelling notebook. And another one, take a picture, of course, of your book page 230 and send it in our class dojo that's all everyone and see you tomorrow bye guys